to my channel. This is Sam, and I'm playing the Robocop. Oh, okay, let's meet up with guys in the Start. I just skip that part. I know. Because it has already been done. Where was the meeting point supposed to be? Yeah, just keep following the road. But the road ends here. <laughs> what was that? Uh oh, you're breaking up. <laughs> Am I? I'm hearing you clearly. Oh my god, what a lemon. You two seem to be enjoying yourselves. Uh, just having a little fun with our fellow dispatcher. Don't worry, I'm sure the kid has a sense of humor. It's just a little blue hazing. And he's an OCP stooge anyway. You're not going soft on us, are you, Murphy? That did not sound like fun. It's not like he didn't deserve it. You know that he runs to Becker with a stack of papers every time you two talk, right? He's a rat. We're just looking out for you, Murphy. <laughs> All right. The situation at the bank was contained in a relatively smooth fashion. So what did we learn from it? When it's their money on the line, OCP will send RoboCop, the entire SWAT team, and a bunch of Ed 209s that actually work. Anything else? Wendell Antonowski no longer deals with the street vultures. That's right. There's been a rift in their midst, and I want to know why. Spike has proven to be talkative under suitable conditions. That's why I want you all to head to the city and do some actual police work. We need to find Spike. The attack on OCP Bank was a desperate move. I'm sure there's plenty of theories floating around. So we need to listen to what the streets are saying to find where the vultures are hiding. I know someone versed in street talk. Talk to him. And, oh, I almost forgot. Murphy, once you're downtown, the old man wants to meet with you. Oh, the old man himself? <laughs> what an honor. Yeah, he's the closest Detroit has to real-life royalty. Maybe for saving him all that money, he'll knight you or something. Enough! Head downtown, ask around, and most importantly, find Spike. Okay. Robocop! Over here! You wouldn't want to make the mayor of Detroit wait, would you? <laughs> May I help you, Mr. Mayor? Oh, it's me who's gonna do the helping. You know John Mills, I presume? The OCP puppet who's gunning for my seat as mayor? I've heard from a reliable source that he's planning to make you the highlight of his election bid. Judging by your expressive face, he hasn't talked to you about it yet, huh? That's what I figured. What a slimy bastard. Using your image to influence the good people of this city, and without your consent, that's clearly something that I would never do. But you know that I've always appreciated what you're doing for our city, right? So the real question is, what are we going to do about it together? I am not involved in politics. Well, well let's not get too hasty. You can still show support for me. Right? We're on the same side. I need to go. Campaign season is busy, but let me leave you with one word of advice. Whatever you do, make it clear that you are not siding with meals. You can be sure that they'll twist your every word and use it against you. That's what OCP does. Thanks for the talk, Robocop. Say no to Delta City. Vote for the neighborhoods. Vote for Kuzak. Just as soon as possible. 
Robocop is getting a face-to-face -face with the old man himself? I'd tell him all about how the OCP is fucking us over. No, you wouldn't. You wouldn't say a word if you actually met him. Why? Did you meet him? Last year's Thanksgiving parade. I was part of a column delegated to protecting his dog. What? How come this is the first time I'm hearing this? Officer Ramirez, a licensed dog walker. Shut up, Kaplan. I heard that. You part of it. Hey, Shiny. You got it. How are you feeling after the incident at the bank? Who gives a shit? I heard that you're heading to the city. Once you're out there, I want you to check one apartment for me. There's suspicion of domestic terrorism and corporate espionage, so expect a warm welcome. Should I assume hostility from the suspect? I assume you'll find sensitive data there. Look for it thoroughly and make sure it comes straight back to my hands. Tenement across the street from the arcade, apartment 12. Now go, I've got to prepare for a meeting. And remember, if you won't take care of it, another cop will have to. Another cop that isn't quite as resistant to deadly surprises as you are. before even I can pop into my car. Smoking is dangerous, not to mention illegal. I don't give a shit about either. Then you must suffer the consequences. Eh, no one in this country values independent thinkers anymore. He's smoking inside of a gas station. Fucking insane, that guy. Is this a crime scene? I'm sure I'm in the right place, but I can't see my FTO anywhere. Could I have his name, please? Over. Sure thing. It's Officer Rat. He should be in one of the dumpsters. That's the only place he belongs, if you catch my drift. Over and out. Right. So much for my field training. Check this building thoroughly. Let's 
save the floor. See, I just opened the door and went in. These things we have. No, things are suspicious. Secret and trance. So OCP is ordering you to break into the apartment of a reporter they don't like? Any comment before I write a story on that? I am here to investigate domestic terrorism. OCP sent you to my safe house because they want to know what I have on them after the bank incident. I assume there is more if you cannot store everything here. I found a rental bill for a locker in a storage facility. You metal-headed fuck! First you botched my investigation at the bank, and now that I dug up the data from another source, you show up again? Do you want to help OCP avoid liability? Your evidence is invalid if you obtained it illegally. I don't collect it for the court. I won't win against OCP there. It turns out I was right. That thing that OCP plans to do with charging residents of old Detroit with additional costs, it is a loophole. It will lead to the illegal expulsion of thousands of people if you help OCP silence me. Explain. Not so fast. I need to be able to trust you first. Especially after what you did at the bank. You showed that you were just OCP's tool. What is it that you expect? Since you're here, I fully expect someone from OCP to go and check my locker. I need to protect what's inside, but there's a meeting I need to keep an eye on. Too much depends on it. I will not be involved in the smuggling of contraband. There's nothing illegal about my request. I need only one box from there. The one with the inscription, Bakery on the Corner. The rest you can leave to OCP to pick up. I need to just spring clean my out-of-date documents anyway. Call me once you secure the box. Otherwise, burn in hell, OCP minion. Storage facility.
late. Sorry, I had to take a bus. Freaking OCP robots destroyed my car during that bank robbery. Robocop. So what? We're just sitting here enjoying the moment. Nothing suspicious. Right, officer? Shouldn't we give the fellas the signal? We should just shut up and smile like the exemplary citizens that we are. I think these guys are doing something illegal here. And they have blue pumps. You know, Are you lost, officer? I can show you the exit if you want. with the lock. Uh, seems that I forgot the key, but, uh... You will tell your story at the station. Are you sure you have enough seats in your car to take us all? If you do not come quietly, I will not need any. Well, well, well. Looks like Mr. Becker was right. 
You're up to something behind his back. These things are supposed to go to Mr. Becker, I reckon. What will interest Becker is in locker number 17. The contents of this box are none of OCP's concern. I'll have to tell Mr. Becker that you have not given us all the material. I assure you that it will end up worse for you than for me. They tracked my location. Because they trust you so much. Speaking of which, the box. What if I lied about it? Did you ever think of that? There may be a bomb inside or the head of my sworn enemy. Do you want to know what's inside? No. The sound of your voice does not indicate that you are lying. Just don't depend on your lie detector when you talk to politicians. In the box are my personal belongings. Letters, memorabilia, things that actually matter to me. When you become too tough to hit directly, the scum will try to get to you through your loved ones. I understand. So we have even more in common. Once OCP takes care of my old documents, I'll have the space to deal with the Delta City issue and help the people of old Detroit. You've helped them already, though. Thank you. Ronnie's Grocery. Leave the box there. Okay, I have to deliver the box to Ronnie's, then go for the field training at Washington Diet. What do you mean a dollar? It's twenty-three fifty. I have Samantha's belongings. Ah, uh, yes, I'm glad you're helping her. Without that girl, OCP would have put us all on the street. Still might. They did a number on a lot of families. Hers included. Samantha's mother took it worse. But that's not a story for me to tell. Anyway, uh, leave the box in the back, next to the cat food. She's supposed to pick up everything tomorrow. Come on, man, it just goes on and on and on. Huh? I believe Samantha. Okay, let's go for this another side quest that is first wheel training. It's not that far. After that we go for spike. Officer Washington, I will be your field trainer for today, requesting readiness confirmation. Yeah, thanks for the offer, but maybe the others are right. I might not really be cut out for field work. If we live the way others want us to live, what kind of life would it be? Or rather, whose? You're right. I'm gonna be my own man. Officer Washington reporting for field training. Good, you have your body armor on. Well done. What about the rest of your gear? Service pistol? Got it. Spare ammunition? Check. Duty light? Never part with it. <laughs> Good job. Preparation is the most important. So is knowing your surroundings. Are you familiar with this area? Isn't this the part of the city where it gets really busy like all the time? Please! I think that answers my question. Set the radio to my channel and follow me. Roger that! An officer needs to be confident. Straight back, sturdy walk, together with a clear and unshaking voice. The 
साइड मिशन के चक्कर में मिशन करना रह जाता है ऑफिसर्स थैंक गॉड यू आर हियर आई रियली नीड योर हेल्प व्हाट हैपेंस इज आई एम रिस्पोंडिंग टू अ रिक्वेस्ट फॉर एड द फर्स्ट थिंग इज टू इंट्रोड्यूस योरसेल्फ टू द पोटेंशियल विक्टिम वॉच एंड लर्न आई एम ऑफिसर मर्फी हाउ डू यू डू मैडम वेल टू टेल यू द ट्रूथ द सेकंड थिंग इज टू रीअश्योर द विक्टिम ऑफ देयर सेफ्टी Madam, you do not need to be afraid anymore. We are here to help you. Yes, but it's not about me. The third thing is I'm quite familiar with the field training manual, so if you don't mind, I'll take over. Ma'am, could you please tell us what happened? It's my cat, Fortune. He's missing. Fortune is my biggest treasure. I can't lose him. Do you have any idea where he might be? The only place I can think of is the basement. I've also heard some rockets coming from downstairs today, but the lights aren't working and my eyesight's not so good anymore. Is it okay for us to investigate the basement? Yes, it makes an excellent opportunity for low light training. Let us proceed downstairs. Locked down there. Cat has that name for a reason. He really brings fortune. So don't you come back without right. him. Duty light can be advantageous, but it can also be a liability. Keeping it close to you creates a clear target for the violators. It is good practice to hold the duty light away from your body. I don't remember reading that in the field manual. Did you get it from a different book? No, from experience. Clear. Clear. Hey, I think I just saw the cat. You think I should try to remove these planks? Stand aside. Get back on track. Sure thing. What was that? Maybe that's the cat. What is the red liquid of the things not right? Ah oh, man, I walked into a mess. And now my shoes are covered in strawberry jam. When chasing a suspect, do not rush at first. Take blind corners as wide as possible. Cuts down on being surprised. has left a trail this time pace yourself do not get out of breath during a foot pursuit you will need stamina to engage the fugitive later you right oh looks like he stopped by the spill pan can suspect might be intoxicated i used to know these kids who gave their cat stomach medicine to make it loopy is there a moral to that story cats are susceptible to substance misuse shh i heard something I think it's coming from the piano. I think it's inside the That cat must be hiding inside. Let me lure it out. Go ahead. There it is. It's escaping. Darn it. 
There's no way to... It went through here, but that's a very narrow passage. Let's try the door. It's locked, but I can try to squeeze through that gap. Go ahead. Okay, here I go. It's actually not as bad as I thought. Cool. Now, let me get that door open for you. Who would have thought that being small can actually have its advantages? An eager police officer with a small build is worth twice as much as a big slacker. Good work, Officer Washington. Thank you, sir. What was that? I'm afraid this time it's a one-way street, Mr. Cat. But where are you hiding? Would be somewhere nearby. There he is. Oh gosh, Fortune, you look a mess. You think he's all right? The cat is fine. You can take it back to its owner. I will clean up any remaining mess. Okay, see you soon. It's Washington. Do you read me? Loud and clear. What is your status? We got a problem. I'm on the second floor and have a visual on multiple armed suspects and your location. It's not raining away, but I can hear some coming up the stairs. Do not engage yet. Take your time to find the most advantageous location. Got it. Officer Washington, I am coming up to have your Glad to hear that, sir. Status. I'm hit. Remain calm. I am here. That was tense. I need a 
breather. Officer Washington, your performance today was impressive. Thank you, sir. Means a lot coming from you. You will be fine. It is only a superficial wound. See? I told you that cat brings luck. Isn't this just wonderful? There are no side missions available. There are no secondary objectives. Waiting for you Anything upstairs. This entrance to the building is off limits. Okay, I think this time. The old man's waiting. So, it's nice. true what they say. You do you have some kind of defect. Good to see you, my boy. Leave us. I want to talk to him in private. You have to excuse me for not getting up. I'm in a rather unfortunate state. You did exceptional work at the bank. I want you to know that I am deeply grateful for your service to OCP and the city of Detroit. See? I grew up in this very apartment, or what's left of it. It used to be a thriving neighborhood, nothing like what you see right now. I always dreamt of turning it into the most prosperous district in the city, a new heart of Detroit. Can you imagine? Or do you think it's just an old fool's pipe dream? My purpose is to fight crime, not to make statements. No, of course not. Delta City's construction is about to start. Finally, the old and frail will be replaced with the new and strong. Decay and death are terrible things. You lose everything you worked for your entire life. But I don't have to tell you what that's like. It really makes me wonder, has the time you spent in that armor been a burden to you? The only burden it causes is to criminal scum. I admire your confidence. The real reason I have summoned you here is because I'm worried. I'm aware of your instability problems, and it's not a matter that we can overlook. That's why I've requested to have people look after you. Tell me, how are you finding your evaluations with Dr. Blanche? It 
It helps me with perspective, but it also brings out things buried. That's part of the recovery process. I can imagine it's not a pleasant experience, but I can't express how much I'd like you to keep at it. I'm sure that becoming a liability is the last thing you'd want. Am I right? That is correct. Now we've reached an understanding. Tell me, is there anything I could do to put your mind at ease? My fellow officers worry about OCP's intention regarding their work. Really? I'll have a word with Becker. Perhaps some new equipment would boost their morale. It would be appreciated. I have to say, you brought a lot of hope into this old man's heart. Now, excuse me. I'm not supposed to exert myself too much. <laughs> Doctor's orders. And you can't argue with them. Take care of yourself. After all, the peace of Detroit depends on your well-being. This guy gave me a hassle, bitch. Why are you really going to the floor, bitch? If you guys have this kind of problem, just go back to the save where you first came to this place uh, from the uh, precinct. Hey Murphy, are you done with the old man's tea party? Do the Remember to get back in touch with first. your informer. See if he has any info that could get us back on the biker's lead. <clears throat> Spike is still out there. And then. Okay, let's go to the spike in a haste mission because all of the side missions done along with meeting the old man. Pickles is that guy, that informant. Is that true? Mary has to close a restaurant? Two words. Delta City. Whoa. Greetings. Waiting for the movie screening. Just browsing to find which movie would most enhance my nuke experience. The longer you stick to a path, the harder it gets to abandon it. Amen to that. Now, tell me, what's the next job for the police's finest duo? I need information on Spike's whereabouts. That SOB. I'll never forgive him for what he did to Briggs. Luckily, there ain't much left of the street vultures after the bank heist. They're probably laying low. But now you mention it, I heard about a biker who had a crash near the riverbank just behind the mart. So, your best bet is to check out the scene of the accident, or maybe hit up a nearby mechanic to see if they know anything. Any witnesses? Ah, uh, there's this crazy old bum who hangs out around there. He's nosy. Maybe he could help. Are you positive that he escaped on the damaged motorcycle? <laughs> Not so much on it as with it. From what I gathered, the bike suffered more than just a dent. I'm guessing he must have dragged it to some nearby mechanic to get it back in shape. I think Ben's shop is the closest. You really want justice for Briggs? We owe him. But it's more about Daniel and Gail. And I think everyone will sleep better once those butchers are taken care of. Thank you. You have given me all I need. I, I know you're busy, but there's something that I need your help with. 
I will not be involved in any illegal activity. <sighs> That's very presumptuous of you. I just need help finding a VHS tape in the rental place across the street. The title slipped my mind and I assume you've got like a database or something in your head that'll make looking for it a breeze. So what do you say? Will you help me look for it? If it helps you stay out of trouble, let us proceed. Yeah, it'll solve all my problems. Let's go! <laughs> what are you looking for? So there's this movie about a guy with a gun, and there's this bad guy who wants something. I'm pretty sure the title has some biblical reference in it. You lack vital information on the subject. Okay, let's start searching. Remember, the title has something to do with the Bible, saints, uh, cosmos, so let's start by checking the thriller and drama sections. Should we ask the owner? <laughs> Forget him. He has no idea about movies. He thinks that Salamanca deserved the golden piston for the best picture. I heard that, and it did. Kind Shepherd? Love that one. You know that movie could have never happened. The director threw out the script after reading a couple of pages. Thankfully, his wife picked it out of the trash and after reading it, she forced her husband to get it up. Everyone deserves a second chance. I hope we don't get I'm not. Hey, Shepard, you think you're gonna get a second chance? Yeah, I'm sure I'll get a second chance. Garden of Earthly Delights. Oh man, great movie. Very elegant. Panned by the critics though. But the director is a badass. He personally showed up oh, to one of those ceremonies to accept the award. Award for the worst movie of the year. We do not need to bow to outside pressure. Easier said than done, my man. It takes courage. Oh yeah, it does. But hey, if that director can resist it, then why the hell can't I, right? But let's get back to it, because that's not our tape. Nothing in thriller or drama. Okay, how about you check in the sci-fi and action section? I'll have a look at horror. Eve's flower. Beautiful depiction of violence in that one. Do you think violence can be beautiful? It's just shown with a different sensibility to what we're used to. Maybe because the guy's European. You know how they are. It's different. It's cool is all I'm saying. Recognizing beauty in something ugly is a unique feature. <sighs> Doesn't pay the bills though. Then again, I don't have bills to pay anyway. Time to occupy yourself with something meaningful. What are you talking about? I'm a street entrepreneur. I keep myself busy, thank you very much. But 
We're still missing our tape. Okay, science fiction done. This election. Okay. Celestial Decay. Classic. Still waiting for a sequel. But the guy who did that one has never made a part two in his career. But he said that if he ever did, he'd do a sequel to that one. Uh, how do you feel about that? Sequels, remakes, comic book adaptations, etc. You cannot reopen a closed book. So when you're done, you're done? That's rough. Probably true. Anyway, risking to sound like a broken record, that's not the tape we're looking for. Hey, I think I found it. I messed up the title a little. It's called Me, Sire, but here it is. <sighs> Isn't that the tape we're looking for? <clears throat> tape? What? What tape? You like movies? Do you want to shoot an action movie? I think I'll wait till it comes out on VHS. Lights, camera, action! Oh, crap, crap, crap! I, I need a hand over here! Finally, some fun! Okay, I think all the audios are done. <laughs> First, I hear a bunch of movie puns, and then everyone starts shooting. It all happens so fast. Where is Pickles? He ran out the back door. Where will I find him? I don't know. But uh, homeless or not, you still have to give an address to get a membership card. Try the computer. Maybe you'll find something there. Which computer? His name is... Who's gonna pay for all this? Lost because J at three C. I think I can wrap up the video after I get the pickles and at least complete this side fucking mission oh, greetings citizen ah the best cop in the hood is back how can i be of service i am here in regards to a fugitive oh damn what is wrong with this thing i need to get that car down God knows what might happen. Can you help me out with this? 
is new and I don't know where I put the manual. Stand back. Go on then. Let's see how it's done. I'll teach you how to bring that car down. Can't be that hard. It doesn't start. Pop the hood. So, do you know what the problem is? I'm the coil has been disconnected. That would explain the car not... Spark plugs are not the main culprit. There is no power. Battery is fine, stable, above 12 volts. That's one thing checked off then. I detected an electric current inside the cooling tank. I recommend grounding it to fix the problem, but I am sure- I'm guessing it's an easy fix. It started. We own the money. Well done, Robocop. You are one serious Swiss Army man. I am best at catching criminals. I should get back to it. You said earlier you were looking for someone. A biker. Have you repaired any motorcycles recently? As a matter of fact, I did. This big, chunky guy showed up. Bald head, big ears, and spiky beard. Wasn't really warm and cuddly, but he paid cash in advance. So why would I refuse? Do you know the whereabouts of this individual? I don't, but he asked me if I do paint jobs too. Then showed me a ripped out page that had a tattoo design on it. He asked me to spray a mean looking bird onto his gas tank. What was the design you sprayed onto his motorcycle? It was some sort of bird, but I'm, I don't know what it's called. I'm not a botanist, but it had a bald head. Why do you think the design was intended for a tattoo? The page he handed me had other graphics, which were clearly tattoo designs. And, as far as I remember, it had the address of a tattoo parlor that's close by printed on the bottom of the page. Why do you think the The page he handed me had other- And, as far as I- Thank you for the information. Proceeding to the tattoo parlor. Got abandoned. No other mission. Need to find vehicles fast. Close this side mission first. some torch had saying that they were running away from the cops and went through that video store they had a wad of drug money on them and didn't want the cops taking it so they hid it in one of the VHS cases I misheard the title so I needed help that is not the kind of help I was willing to provide come on give me a break I fucked up, I know. And I get that you're on a mission to save my life or something. With all that great advice of yours, it takes courage. Sorry to disappoint you, Dad. But I'm lacking in that department. There's just one thing that I need right now. Which is? All I need right now is a fix. So, let me keep the money. You won't hear me asking about anything else. Are you asking a police officer to leave you with money from Nuke Distribution? I know you're a police officer first, but can't you be a friend this one fucking time?
I am not doing this as a police officer. I am doing it as a friend. Hand over the case. You, you can't do this to me, man. I just did. Fuck you, Tin Man. I earned that money fair and square. So thank you guys for watching, stay tuned for more, don't forget to subscribe. Bye guys, see you soon. Take care.